What is going on you guys? Welcome back. And in this first Halloween makeup tutorial, I'm going to be doing a bat winged eyeliner. And to start, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. Since it's a white concealer, I kind of want the most pigment to come out of this look. So I'm just going to take a beauty blender, something that I finally got. And I'm going to be just buffing that into my eyelids and making sure that the concealer is tacky enough for all my shadow. And then next, I'm going to be going into the Afrique palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to be going into the light brown shade at the bottom. And I'm just going to be using that as a quick transition shade, something that the shadows can blend into. And I'm just going to do that right into my crease. And I already did one eye as kind of like a way to practice. That way I know what I was doing in this look before I filmed and I didn't mess up like 50 times. So now that I'm done with that, I'll be taking another Morphe brush. I'm going to go into the orange shade and I'm just going to dive in and just start buffing that into my the deep socket of my eye because we're going to be doing a cut crease. So I'm just going to keep blending and blending and pretty much put more on as I go and keep adding some more and some more, just buffing that into my almost toward the front of my brow too because this look is very blown out and smoky but it's also a cut crease so you gotta like take it to the very front and then i'm just gonna make sure everything's all blended and then making sure everything's even too and getting it everywhere even though i'm doing a cut crease and yeah and i'm using a morphe m441 brush to do this for that and then now that that orange shade is placed on perfectly, I'm going to be taking, well, as you can see, this was the Morphe brush that I wanted to use for another color, but I'll be still jumping into the Ruby May Cosmetics, um, the artist palette. And I wanted to start the yellow first, but I was like, you know what? No, I'm just going to like look around for that brush, which is a, a blending brush by Vanity Planet. I'm going to take that orange shade at the very top and just start putting that like over... Um, the first orange that I put to kind of like make it a reddish orange, kind of like a sunset because, you know, you'd see bats quite often in the sunset look. Um, this look was created by Nikki Tutorials to whom she linked the first creator of this look. And it is so intriguing. I thought, oh my goodness, this is like such a fun look. And I wanted to like recreate it for you guys because... I wanted to also test my limits because I usually am so scared to do something like this because I know for sure I'd mess up. So now I'm going to take that same Morphe brush. I'm going to go into the yellow shade. I think it's the fourth row down on the far right and just pretty much um, start packing that yellow shade all over my brow bone to kind of like blow out the orange even more. Uh, that way I have plenty of room for the shadow and I don't have to, you know, specify in one little corner of my eyeball um because i'm not very good at eyeliner so i wanted as much as like much room as possible so i'm just going to keep packing the yellow shade and kind of like the base for the yellow because i have another yellow which is also in the Freak palette it is the top it is the far right yellow shade i think it's called zulu and um i'm just going to place that right over the top and then just keep buffing that out into my brow, pretty much blowing it up as far in, on my eye brow bone as much as possible. And yeah, so now I'm going to go back into that, um, that Morphe, with that Morphe brush, I'm going to go straight into that orange shade again and just kind of make sure everything's blended and like it, it looks smoky enough to like not see any harsh lines or whatsoever. Um... These aren't the same shadows that Nikki or the like the first original person that did this look used. So now I'm going to go back into like a um a packing brush from Vanity Planet and I'm going to go into that like maroon shade at the far left corner on the third row, I believe. And I'm just going to, you know, kind of elevate that into my deep socket and then I'm going to take a M 513 brush i'm gonna take some shape tape and i'm gonna just start cutting my crease i'm gonna take quite a bit of concealer because i want it to be just as precise i'm gonna take a deep breath and then i'm pretty sure you guys already know how to do a cut crease i you've seen a billion other tutorials so i just started like the beginning and i just kind of don't care how precise i get i just wanted to make sure that i i got the wing out as 
like elegated and blown out as possible and then I'll worry about like the actual cut crease later because the wing liner pretty much covers it so I kind of don't I didn't care if I got a little bit messy but you know I'm a perfectionist I always like to make sure everything's even and stuff so I'm just going to keep packing that on there bl blending that out so no concealer spots or because the shape tape does dry quickly so I have to work quite fast and just going to keep packing that on there and then keep elegating the line as much as I go sharpening it and try not to get it too high because this whole point of this look is to be as smoky as possible so now that that's done I'm going to do it again but with like a more condensed like crease brush and I'm just going to go back into the shape tape and just do that one more time and just to make sure like it's all even and it's not patchy because when you're blending out concealer on your eyelid, you gotta like, you work fast and sometimes you miss a few spots. So I just like to go in again, just to make sure everything is like, you know, pigmented and even. And I'm just gonna kind of keep elongating that line, making sure it's still nice and straight. Cause that's the whole point of the cut crease is to kind of make a fake wing. So just make sure that's dry. And I'm gonna go back into the Zulu palette. I'm gonna be packing that transition shade kind of all over the crease kind of to brown it up a little bit so it's not like just a white concealer base I didn't want the crease to be as orange as my eyes already were so I just kind of like neutralized it with that light brown shade that I used in the beginning and I'm just going to pack that all over the lid and then once that is done I'm going to go into another blending brush and I'm going to be pretty much um Fixing up the line, making sure like there's no harsh lines from the concealer, and I'm just going to keep putting that into the deep socket of my eyeball, and then just stretching it out, you know, blending it with the yellow, making sure it's all blended, blend, 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 blend. So now, I'm going to take a deep breath, baby steps, and we're going to be going into the eyeliner part. Oh my god, this was so hard. So as you can see, I'm kind of like, you know, telling myself how I'm going to do it, and then... I'm like, okay, get ready, and I'm going to use the, the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I'm going to use the dagger version, too, but right now for the, like, kind of like the tracing part of the bat wing, I'm just tracing it with the just the normal tattoo liner, and I'm making little triangles, kind of like making my own little wing, so I go small, the closer to my eye, the smaller the 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 corner, the triangle, so, and then I stretch that out. The bigger the the further away from my my eye, I'm the more batty it'll get. The more triangles I'll create, and then when that's done, I'm making the wing, making sure it's pretty much even and not too long, kind of like match it to my cut crease. And then when that's you know sharp enough, I want to make sure it's kind of even because I as you can see, you can kind of tell like it's not you know as perfect as the cut crease was, but. Nothing like a little more shadow can hurt. I mean, that's what I did later on. So, um, and then I just start fixing up my, my corners, making sure they're as sharp as possible without making them look too bold or bulky. And they're pretty even to me. They might not be even to some of you, but, you know, it's my bad eye. <laughs> so now that I've pretty much made the corner of my eye, check and see on my dog. I'm pretty sure he barked at that time. <laughs> So I'm pretty much dragging the the top portion of the bat wing to the front corner of my eyelid and kind of like making the front part of the bat wing as you guys obviously know what a bat looks like. So for the most part, I'm just kind of making that front part as sharp as possible and then just pretty much creating the rest of like the wing liner um, to make sure it looks like a wing liner, not just some random, you know, geometrical mess on my eyeball so when I pretty much trace everything I go back in with the dagger um, style from the Kat Von D liner and I just pretty much start tracing it and filling it in and for some reason I had a really good eyeliner day like because the last video I said that the liner wasn't as pig pigmented as I thought it would be so I got really lucky with this Halloween look and I was very excited how pigmented it was and it was quite easy to work with. So I'm just pretty much filling it in and um, the same thing for the the little corner that's on my eyelid. 
I just make that as sharp as possible and I just start filling it in like a normal wing liner. But it's a bat we're working with. We're working with bat wing liner. So when that's pretty much filled, I just trace the front of my eye as like a normal wing and making sure I kind of drag it to the front of my eyelid, the inner corner of my eye. And then when that's done, now I go back in with a little bit of concealer to fix the wing part of the bat wing. The wing part of the bat wing, yes, because that totally made sense. And I'm just going to take a little concealer brush and I just kind of like carve the, the wing a little bit better and make sure it's sharp as possible because that's the whole goal of this whole wing look. Make it sharp as possible because we're going to cut all the trick-or-treaters. Just kidding, no we're not. And then I take a deep breath because it's all over. The hard part is over. So now we're going to go into the fun part. We're going to take the NYX um, white liquid liner. And we're going to start creating our little dots, like the little stars and uh, clouds and stuff. I, I don't know why they they put the white on. I just thought it was really cool, like how they they were able to incorporate that so that way it didn't look weird. Um, I can only assume it's stars or clouds or whatever. It's nothing too magical. Um, but it goes good with the bad eye. I, I mean, I thought I did horrible with the dots, but I mean, you guys probably will like it. I hope so. <laughs> So I'm just going to pretty much put little small dots and then making my way to the front of my brow. And the front, the more towards the front of my eye I get, the smaller the dots I will put. And then, of course, more at the wing, I put the kind of like a deeper dot. <laughs> so check it out, make sure it's even with the other side. And it looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Cold cold black eyeliner and I'm gonna go into my waterline and pretty much kind of drag it onto my um my bottom lash line so I'm just kind of like being messy with it because we're gonna blow that out with like the orange shadow and we're gonna blow blow it out with a little bit of um black eyeshadow as well to kind of make it a little bit of a deep dark smoky eye and I'm gonna take a Estee Lauder buffing brush and I just shove that into my inner corner and blow it out and then whatever product that i have left on that first brush that i used in the orange shade i put that underneath my eye as well to kind of like blend out the black too and then i'm going back in with another crease brush with that orange shadow as well and then now i'm going to start the white dots on the bottom portion of my eye like underneath my my bottom lash line and I'm going to kind of be, you know, kind of messy with it. I mean, just kind of the same thing. The smaller, the closer to your eye, the smaller the dot. And then the further out, you can get larger with them. And it looks pretty good to me. I think so. So now we're going to take some Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm going to just pretty much coat my lashes as much as possible. Because we're going to, we're going to use some lashes in this look. And I'm going to take my favorite lashes, the Ardell Wispies. And I'm going to, um use a pair that I've been using because <laughs> I'm kind of lazy and I'm going to put the Kiss Adhesive Lash Glue, the, the brush type, and I'm going to be, you know, coating that pretty thick. That way it stays on and it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to do that little happy dance I do the last video and making sure that it's nice and tacky and I'm going to kind of messily place it on my eye and then when it's on my eye I'm gonna be grabbing some tweezers and just pretty much fixing the corners and making sure they're stick they're sticking to my eye and they're not gonna go anywhere nowhere and then I just kind of like poke it myself and make sure it's all good to go so that's pretty much it for the eyes like I'm absolutely impressed with how they turned out so I'm gonna take some NARS concealer and kind of like just cover my blemishes um, well, of course, Nikki and the other girl that did this look, she did her face. I didn't do my face. I just wanted my eyes to be the, the main star of the video. So I wetted my beauty blender and then just blended out the concealer, you know, kind of like foundation, just something to, you know, cover the bad spots, cover the acne. Um, cause you know, it's that, that time of the month, you know what I mean? I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to pretty much just blend it out, make sure it's all even and, you know, good to go. And I'm, I'm really impressed with the Beauty Blender. I don't know why I never bought it earlier. I'm going to do some lips. I'm going to use the Dose of Colors Liquid Lip in the shade Sand. And um, I already had like lip balm on my lips so that way they weren't crusty. And I just pretty much put 
that color all over my lips. I didn't use any lip liner because, like I said earlier, I wanted the eyes to be the star of the show. I didn't want my lips to, you know, overpower my eyes. Neither is my face makeup. I kind of wanted to be as matte as possible. And then just kind of like making sure it's even and pigmented as much as possible. And if you want, you could totally put a gloss on top. I mean, I don't know why I didn't do that. And so now my favorite part, I'll be taking the all-nighter setting spray and just spray my entire face because I fucking love spraying the shit on my face. Take the other one too, it's the complexion spray. Just do the same thing and then that's pretty much it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. It was so much fun making this look. And as always, you guys, if you want more, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed.